Hi there, it's Top Tip Tuesday time again, and on today's video, we're going to be creating a nice stylized microscopic cell animation using Nexus and some fluid dynamics. So let's get that clock started and we'll jump in. In our scene, we have this cylinder object which has had the uh, top cap taken off. That's going to be our dish for our cells. It's got an XP collider tag on with the normals set to inside, obviously, to keep the particles inside. And quite a lot of friction. Look, 41% friction. We've got an emitter, and you can see our emitter here. And this is a circle. Let's go to the object tabs in circle mode, 50 centimeters radius. In the emission tab, we're in shot hexagonal mode. Shot time of one, full lifespan, zero speed, one centimeter radius particles, and that gives us this hexagonal grid of particles. Now we need to bring these in um, with some forces, basically. So let's go to NX Gravity and make that invisible. Just leave that in default, and now they get pulled to the bottom of our container. Let's get some movement in there. We'll go to NX Turbulence and keep it on simplex. Let's make this quite strong 50 strength. Let's reduce the scale down to maybe 70 and reduce the frequency and then hit play. And now we've got something like this. I'm going to hit NQ to activate materials. Our cylinder's got this black material on just so we can see our uh, particles clearly. Okay, cool. So these particles have been moved around by the turbulence now, but they're not interacting with each other. They don't care about each other at the moment. They don't even know each other exist. We need to get them to interact. We're going to do it with fluids at first. So let's bring in an NX fluids. Let's change the solver to PBD. Hit play. And now these particles are interacting. Yes, and we can see we're creating these nice kind of PBD swirls. And this is the, the basis for the entire look. Uh, we don't need to go much further than this. But what we can do, the reason we're using PBD for this is we've got a brilliant um, setting called external pressure here. And if you keep your eye on the edge of these um, kind of islands of particles, as I put this external pressure onto full, you'll see you can really look, you can see that external pressure pushing in on them and it creates a much harder, tighter border of particles on our uh, on our blobs and it also creates when they separate these nice long thin tendrils it's a classic pbd look excellent we're going to add some more um fluid physics here though we want to add loads of surface tension so these kind of try and pull together even more and bead now we can't do that with pbd we don't have that setting but what we can do is add an nx constraints and we have in the NX constraints a surface tension layer. Let's put our iterations up. Let's increase the tension. And now this is going to be creating that surface tension effect. And these are really trying to pull together um, into a shape that has the smallest surface area possible. And we're getting these really nice kind of animated uh, globules of particles. Let's get some color into this. We'll go to NX color. And we're going to add a gradient by parameter let's set this to speed and we'll load a preset obviously you can choose whatever you want i'm going to go with this cold desk one and our max speed is going to be i don't know let's say 15 centimeters they're not moving very quickly and now let's see if we get a good spread of colors uh, no so they're moving slower than that let's go back to our color and put this down to say nine Yep, that's looking good. Uh, we could go. So every time we start this sim, we're getting the drop of particles as they're dropping to the floor. We kind of want it to start here, really, don't we? So let's do that. On this frame that we like, let's go to our XP emitter, object tab, and we're going to go to the initial state tab. We're going to use initial say, uh, state and then set state. You see the memory used has gone up. It's set this state of particles. So now we don't want to emit any more particles. So we can go to the emission tab and set the emission mode to controlled only. And now it's just going to um, load in that initial state. So now when we hit play, yes, it starts from that initial state. Excellent. Now these particles aren't moving quickly enough for me. So let's go to our turbulence and increase that strength way up. And now we're starting to get something that looks like this. Let's make our particles look a bit bigger as well. We can go to the emitter display tab. Now we're in squares um, emitter display mode, which is really fast to draw. 
but we can't really see these. But what we can do, here's a cool trick, instead of picking circles, which is a heavier drawing mode, we can just increase the display size factor, which will increase those squares up. But they're still really fast to draw. Brilliant. So now we've got something like this. That's looking pretty cool. Now here is a trick here. Now it's not what we would want for our render, but with this technique, look, if we make our cylinder invisible, and we make the particles invisible, and we bring in an Insidium X particles generator's trail. The trail says which emitter do you want to make trails from? Let's drag it in. And we want not full scene trails, maybe 30 frames long. That's maybe a bit much, say 20. And look at these amazing trails that we get from this fluid sim. Uh, absolutely stunning. Let's go to trail. Actually, we could make those longer. Let's make them 50. And we're getting these awesome, swirling, smooth, interacting trails as those particles um, uh, simulate that surface tension fluid look. So really cool. And that's just an aside. It's a really nice look. And it's possible, but it's not obviously what we want for our cell look. Now, one th more thing that we're able to do here is we've got a bit more control. We could separate these cells into smaller clusters a little. And we're going to do that with another constraint. We don't have to do this, but it's another possibility. We'll add a forces layer. Now, the forces are two forces, attraction and repulsion. We just want to repulsion. Uh, repel some of these to create some little groups so let's take the attraction uh, power off completely and on the repulsion let's reduce the radius but increase the strength hit play and we should separate yeah look we've separated out these clusters of cells now with our repulsion Cool. So it's a really art directable setup this for these nice cellular looks. We can make adjustments in the constraints and the fluids and the turbulence and the friction to control how we get our cells to move in the scene.